All right, thank you, Dave. Well, she's devoted to helping families achieve optimum health through chiropractic care. Today, she's here to tell us how by just donating a few needed items, you at home can get an exam and x-rays. Welcome, Dr. Jody Peterson. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm really excited about this week. Yeah, and this is a great program because uh, let's try to explain this for folks at yes. home, that how a uh, donation of $10 worth of toiletries can help and then how they can also get some chiropractic care. That's right. Well, I'm coming in on the end of my 13th year, starting 14 years in chiropractic. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. And I've actually had over 200,000 adjustments with my hands. Wow. So every year to celebrate my anniversary of chiropractic, I do a fundraiser for Jenkins Orphanage. Okay. And the orphanage is actually now called Jenkins Institute for Children. Mm -hmm. They, uh, they actually don't have orphans there anymore, but so many people know it as that, and, I, and after all these years, I still call it that as well. Jenkins Orphanage over the years has been losing donations as people's budgets have been tighter. Sure, tightening up the The adults, contributions yeah. have been you know, cutting down. And when I first met them about 12 years ago, I, I thought like a lot of people, they needed toys or food or mm -hmm. bikes. And they said, no, they need toilet paper. They need toilet paper, shampoo, soaps, things like that. And I have an incredibly civic-minded practice. I specialize in families and children. And my practice just stepped right up and said for every adjustment on my chiropractic birthday that they would donate for the adjustment that day would be $10 of toiletry items. And so we moved that into every exam and x-ray of new patients would be only $10 of toiletry items for the, for the children there. Wow, okay. And every year it's very exciting when I drive up there and open up the back of the SUV and just unload all these things. And uh, they're just so excited for any help that they can get. Okay, so how does this program work for those folks at home that want to get involved in this? Well, the main thing is they would have to call to schedule. We're expecting okay. about 100 people that day to come in. Uh, so it's going to be very busy. I normally see about 100 people a day in my practice, so that's really? not a problem. <laughs> I get wow. up very early. I, uh, I start practice about quarter to seven in the morning and move as fast as I can all day. Since we specialize in children and families, it's very important, I think, that people that are under care can, can get there and get in and get out as quickly as they can. So for that day, we ask that everybody call. There's some pictures of me adjusting children. Uh, we ask that everybody call that day, 795-1999, because we are expecting a lot of people, and it will be a complete exam and x-rays that mm -hmm. day, very thorough. You can go online and look at the website, download the paperwork, and that really expedites the whole process. And let's talk about your practice just for a second, because I was reading in the notes that if you get chiropractic care, you can avoid sick days thus not missing work. So how does that work? I mean, what's the correlation? Well, it's very interesting. Most people think that I'm about back pain and neck pain, and chiropractic is great for that. Okay. But only 10% of the nervous system actually has the ability to perceive pain. So it's always the last thing to show up and the first thing to go away. Pain is not a good indicator that the brain is actually talking to the body. Okay. Most of the people coming into my practice are for headaches, allergies, asthma, IBS, indigestion, PMS. And it's not that chiropractic can fix any of those things. Chiropractic doesn't actually fix anything, but it's just the restoration of the brain being able to function and talk to the body again and actually allow that innate intelligence inside to function the way it's supposed to. So for little kids and missed days of work, the correlation there is that so many people these days are missing work because their children can't go to school. Yeah, because you do work with children a lot yes, in your practice. Yes. And how does you know, children, how do they get benefit from chiropractic care? Well, what we're Being seeing... Being so young, because I know a lot of folks at home like myself absolutely. are thinking, you know, the bones are still developing, they're still growing. Is this a good thing? Is this a positive thing <laughs> to do for your children? And apparently it is. Well, I'm a doctor, so I think it is. Yeah, I, and I trust you. I'm also a mother. I've adjusted my own child since she was one day old. And uh, she's actually never been to a doctor, and she's never been sick in three years. I've never missed a night's sleep. And... Many times in my career, I've seen as many as 30 to 50 children a day in my practice, and I'm just seeing that when children go to the chiropractor, the incidence of ear infections is greatly reduced. They are, their immune system is stronger. If they do get colds, they get over them quicker. 
And of course, that means if they ever did need a medication, it would be more effective. They weren't so polluted with all those drugs. Amazing. All yes. right. I did not know that. <laughs> you know, we need to get you to come here to work so none of our employees will work. Well, I'll talk to the I bosses know. about that in-house. <laughs> now, we do see adults in the practice, too. Of course, And, yeah. you know, I think specializing in children means that it's not so scary for the grown-ups. All right. Well, your program <laughs> sounds great, so definitely check, her, uh, check that out. $10 worth of toiletries really to help a great cause, That's and right. you'll get adjusted and, and potentially feel better and not miss work. It's a That's great right. thing. Thank, well, thank you, you so much, much Doctor, for stopping it. by. Thank you. All right. Well, there's a roller derby team seeking revenge on the Low Country High Rollers this weekend. Details on how you can catch the hard-hitting action, that's next.